one notable aspect of the book of Giants is its connection to the biblical flood story. So again, you always have to go back and test and prove all things by God's word. And one, like I said, one of these, the aspects of the book of the giant is a direct connection to that flood story of the Bible. So this narrative uh, describes how the wickedness of the Nephilim and, and all of these other nefarious entities led to divine intervention in the form of what? A flood, a worldwide catastrophic flood. And when you look at the Bible, we all agree that there was a great flood that wiped out all of humanity and the animal kingdom as well. But most people don't understand the actual narrative of why God wiped them out. He wiped the, the, the Nephilim bloodline out of the earth because they were defiling and destroying the human genome. And when you look at this flood narrative it, it, uh, in the book of the giants, it bears striking similarities to the account of Noah and the ark found in the book of Genesis. So the figure Noah, if you just turn to him just for a second, uh, he's actually prominently featured in the book of Giants and is a well-known biblical character, as we know. He was one of the heroes of our faith, whose story is recounted in various ancient Jewish texts all across the world. Uh, not only an ancient Jewish text, but there is a flood story in just about every culture and every religion worldwide. So the narrative aligns with the biblical flood story. Uh, and, and, it, and it gives us a great example of Noah as a righteous figure chosen by God to survive the flood and serve as a beacon of hope for humanity's renewal and the restart of humanity. So again, we can look at a lot of different features in the book of the giants, uh, and it, it does have some mystery and it is fragmented in its nature. But one of the things it does provide is it provides a unique perspective on this, like I said, this interplay between history and theology. And, and its inclusion, by the way, among the Dead Sea Scrolls underscores the complexity and the diversity of the ancient Jewish thought. So you've got to get in the head of these Jewish leaders and this the way the Jewish people were thinking at this time. They knew about the giants. They knew about the hybrid breeding program. They knew why God did what he did. And when you look at the, when you talk to scholars and theologians uh, and even just biblical enthusiasts, there is a, it gives us a glimpse into a forgotten era or forgotten past. So when you look at the book of giants discovered within, you know, those Cumuan caves alongside the Dead Sea Scrolls, it unfolds a captivating narrative of the Nephilim giants and the hybrid humans that were on the earth. And again, they were mighty beings whose influence on the earth brought chaos and violence. And interestingly enough, they actually brought one other thing, too, that we're experiencing today, and that's forbidden knowledge. So this ancient manuscript, and again, it's, it's, it's fragmented, so I just I wanted you to know it's written in, in, in Aramaic. It does add some complexity to our understanding uh, of the Jewish culture and theology during the Second, period temp or Second Temple period, but the Book of the Giants, with its connections to a broader cultural and religious traditions, it offers a fascinating lens through which we can explore, we can uh, investigate, and we can look at the supernatural, the humans, and the and divine, all in the same scope of things, and we can actually have some level of true investigation into the ancient world. 